rumination and the narcissist. When you seemingly cannot get the narcissist thoughts out of your mind, when you are overthinking anything or everything that you can possibly overthink. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, this channel is all about the narcissist personality disorder. To give you more understanding of the people you may have been around or been dealing with throughout your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different ways to find what works for you to recover from narcissistic abuse. If you do find this video or the videos on this channel helpful, Helpful, please do subscribe. So this video is about ruminating, which is continually going over a thought or a problem like a loop playing on repeat within your mind. The negatives of why is this happening to me and the anxious overanalyzing past situations, what the past situations meant, what you could have said differently, what you could have made different, overanalyzing future events that haven't even taken place yet. Obsessive patterns of thought that seem difficult to ba break free from, making it difficult to concentrate on day to day life, difficult to concentrate on work, difficult to concentrate on taking care of yourself. Overthinking or obsessing over the negatives within life, like when you listen to a piece of music and it loops around and around within your mind all day, appearing when you least want it or least expect it. Going over the same problems without reaching an outcome. Within a narcissistic relationship, issues rarely get solved. You rarely reach an outcome. And drama seems to appear whenever a narcissist is near. Even when the relationship is over, we can find ourselves ruminating. It's easier letting go when things make sense. During the relationship, we are gaslighted into things not making sense. Gaslighted into fear, isolated from support and not getting validated, leaving us with the thoughts of, I could have explained myself better. I can explain myself better if I just go and approach them like this. What if it is me? Maybe I am jealous. Am I overreacting? Am I too emotional? Maybe I am a bit sensitive. What did I do? If only I had. It wasn't that bad. They've had a rough day. I should have dropped it. It's my anxiety. Perhaps I am going crazy. Due to a narcissist's devaluation and invalidating our thoughts, our feelings and our opinions, we can quickly become distracted from their behaviour, often having sleep deprivation too and the release of cortisol due to all the stress we live when around narcissistic people, we become anxious, beginning to feel worthless and inadequate, often then ruminating about the negatives much more, becoming more anxious, unsettled, restless, struggling to sleep, becoming more depressed and finding it harder to switch off, making it easier for the narcissist to coercively control us. With everything happening, we might find it easier to fawn to the narcissist's behaviour in order to protect ourselves as we are most often drained and finding the day-to-day -day challenges extremely difficult. Narcissists set the environment, they'll happily create drama and then stand back and watch everyone else trying to fix it. They'll help through their gaslighting words and devaluation of who we are. They'll withhold attention, affection and support. So we question ourselves, telling us we're too sensitive, we're overreacting, we're overthinking. And as we are overthinking, as they have set the environment to make us feel jealous, if they've set the environment to make us feel upset, when they've insulted us or humiliated us in some way and then when we've questioned them they've said I'm only joking can't you take a joke you're too sensitive we then feel sensitive and overthink our sensitivity and not their behavior
If we go to them with a problem, they'll tell us to deal with it. Yet, however we deal with it, it's often wrong by, by the narcissist. When we approach to sort a financial issue or a household issue, we get passive aggressive behaviour such as the silent treatments or the sulks. When we ask them a simple question that within a healthy relationship people could work through we get those silent treatments or sulks if there's a special occasion coming up where you may fear how to approach them for the negative mood the atmosphere the narcissist will create within the house we might overthink how we are going to tell them if we push to reach an outcome we might get the rage leaving us with no clue what to do for the best often living in fear of leaving and fear of staying overthinking on what's best to do and how best to do it doing nothing through fear other than overthinking everything once out the narcissist never ending games of hoovers and smear campaigns can leave us thinking what next what now this only leads to more ruminating of the past of pain of the negatives cycling the patterns of sleep deprivation, anxiety, anger, emotional mood swings, confusion, feeling drained. That with our continued thoughts of perhaps I'm the narcissist. Perhaps they're not a narcissist. What if it was me? What if I brought the worst out in them? What if they change for the next person? How did I miss the red flags? How did I not spot the signs? How could I have been so stupid? If only I'd have set clear boundaries. Did they ever love me? We can end up thinking about the good times, thinking about the bad times, thinking about what could I have done better. To end the cycle of ruminating, first we have to get out of the negative situation we are in. Not easy, however, it is possible. That choice, just making that choice changes everything and we just have to take the choice. We have to make it a must for our own health, our own sanity and then take it one decision or one moment at a time, safely stepping away from the narcissist and their games. It is possible and it is worth it. You can do it. Sometimes our memories are connected to our emotions. When a memory triggers that emotion, it can pull us back into the pain of the past, connecting a new positive meaning to the pain of the past can help. When faced with a situation with a narcissist, co-parenting or a family event or a work colleague where you know you're going to see them, try to focus on how you want the event to go and move away from the focusing, ruminating, overthinking about what the worst that could happen. When your mind thinks of the worst, attempt to focus on the best outcome for you. This is never to excuse or go back to a narcissist who got you ruminating in the first place. When you start thinking things like it wasn't that bad, perhaps they could change. It's a difficult one, but writing down all the negatives within the relationship, writing down all those past pains and looking at those and recognising that it was that bad. And the same goes when you start ruminating of I've wasted so many years with them. This is when you can write down the good, um, not to go back to them, but to remember those good events were the things that kept you trapped. There were good times. You've not completely wasted your life, but now it's time to remember those bad times and let go and remember the good times so that you know you've not wasted your life. These are never an excuse to go back to a narcissist who has got you in this situation. So if a family occasion where you know a narcissist will be attending and they will be provoking you is coming up, focus on the people you can chat to. Focus on having fun with those people. See if you can arrive. If you know the narcissist always runs late, see if you can arrive early. If you know the narcissist always arrives early, you arrive late or on 
time. Focus on having fun with the people there that you do get on with, that do care for you. If you have to speak to the narcissist, limited communication, recognising and observing their unbelievable, yet now believable behaviour, and use it as an opportunity to practice grey rock. Once we practice grey rock, we do get grey rock. I'll add grey rock into the description. Distract yourself with whatever distraction works for you when you are overthinking, when you are ruminating. When you find yourself ruminating, pattern interrupts, focus on your breathing, breathing in and counting one, two, three, four, hold counting one, two, three, four and breathing out counting one, two, three, four and keep going until you feel the ruminating pass. Pattern interrupt is about breaking the pattern. Find a memory such as a picture to look at to make you smile or bring yourself into the present moment. Focus on what you're doing in the here and now, whatever it is that you are doing or focus on something positive you'd like to create for your future, where you'd like to be a year from now and make it a positive, make it a must and start thinking about the steps you can take to get yourself there. Taking a walk in the fresh air, taking photos, practicing mindfulness, meditation, yoga, exercise, watch or listen to something uplifting or something that makes you laugh. Start setting goals. Look at things you've achieved in the past to give you a boost that you are capable. Set small, easily attainable goals first to show yourself you can, then work towards bigger goals, celebrating each one as you achieve them. It can be as simple as smiling the next time you pass a stranger or saying hello to somebody in a shop to starting your own business and planning that next house move. Start small with the attainable goals. Write a list of your goals and cross them off as you achieve each one. Understanding your triggers to see if you can change the meaning to those triggers. You cannot change what you don't understand. Once we can recognise the triggers, We can change those triggers. We can change the meaning to those triggers. Go and do all the things the narcissist stopped you from doing that you love doing. This can give you a boost of freedom. Call that friend, do that hobby, buy that item, walk how you want, talk how you want, live how you want. Go and do all the things that the narcissist stopped you from doing that you love love doing. Set your own expectations for yourself. Don't try to live by others' expectations, only your own. Raising your standards of behaviour you will and will not accept from others, whilst lowering your expectations of those people who will just never truly care for you or those around you. Not to lower your expectations to allow them to disrespect you, raise those standards and raise those boundaries, raise the behaviour you will expect accept from other people, raise those boundaries that the narcissist took down and lower your expectations of their level of understanding so that they no longer get to you, so that they can no longer provoke you you recognize their behavior so they no longer drag you into their games. I shall add the video into the description for gaslighting and I shall also add the video for pattern interrupt. If you do need more help there is a link in the description for better help where you are matched to a professional counselor or therapist to there's lots of different ways you can talk to them you can video call you can talk over the phone these you are matched with someone that is supportive with with any therapy you get 
you've got to make sure you feel comfortable with the person you are talking to and feel like the person is understanding you. Within a narcissistic relationship, you are often left feeling misunderstood. Remember, you are paying a therapist for help. You are paying them for a service. It's not to mean that their service is bad if they don't seem to be understanding you. It just means that's not the therapist for you. Keep going and there's they are amazing therapists, but it's finding the one that understands what you've been through and how they can best help you help yourself. Thank you very much for listening. If anyone has any advice on how they overcame ruminating, please do drop that into the comments. If anyone wants to add the things that they ruminated on into the comments to help others know that they are far, far from alone in this, please do also add that into the comments. Thank you very much for listening and I hope everyone has an amazing day. Bye.